So here's the second half of this break. We're going to answer that age-old question. Was it worth it? Was there a necessary need for an extended series or was it a cash grab? Let's find out, guys. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Last time around, we opened 12 packs. We hit a couple of young guns. We hit a Josh Norris numbered card. I think that was my best hit. We also got a McDavid uh, victory card, but nothing really crazy. We didn't get one of those retro young guns yet. We got a bunch of random retro cards. So hopefully the rest of this box is going to be good. I left them the way they were. So uh, last time there were seven packs in one side and only five on the other. So I left it as it was. Um, I figured that's just the way it should be. Uh, I have been on a little bit of a hot streak in terms of luck though. I don't know what's going on, but I just won two giveaways, which is fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I feel really good about it. Sometimes you just need that big W in uh, little things in life, such as winning someone's giveaway. Uh, shout out to Beauty Breaks and shout out to A Card Day's Night. So once those come in, I'm definitely going to do a video for it and I'm definitely going to do a proper shout out to each one of them. But uh, it's actually kind of nice to, to win and also uh, no, nobody has hard feelings. So <laughs> it's been a lot of support. So I really appreciate all of that, guys. Okay, now... On to the break. Let's do this. Should I start with the five side or the seven side? I, I think we'll start with the five side first. We'll put the seven one uh, in this corner here so it doesn't get blocked by my beautiful face. Uh, we'll start with the five and let's see what happens. And then I'm gonna tell you guys whether or not I think upper deck extended series is worth it because right now I'm gonna tell you I don't think it's worth it. I still think it's a big cash grab. This is the series nobody asked for. And there's actually one big question I have to ask. You know, when Upper Deck creates their SP Authentic, they throw in base update cards in there as an insert. So you can get base update young guns, you can get base update uh, traded cards, whatever it might be, that you get base cards as an insert, which was technically, I guess, their extended series there. So what are they gonna be putting in SPA this time? Is SPA gonna be a better product this year because they created this extended series to get rid of all of those base inserts let's find out there's only one way to find out and that is to buy some sp authentic when it comes out um, i'm hoping the prices come down a bit but most places that sell it for around 250 have already sold out it looks like it's going to be about 280 per box now uh, so we'll see. It's like either I buy two boxes of OPG Platinum or I buy one box of SP Authentic and get absolutely skunked and get some random young gun of maybe like Darren Radish or whatever his name is or Jalen Chatfield because I keep pulling his card. Nothing against them, but you know, obviously we want the Lafreniers, we want the Caprizas, and we want the Stitzlas and the Robertsons of the world. All right, guys, here we go. First pack of the second half. Let's go. This one ripped really easily again, so that must mean there's something amazing in here. That's usually how I go with it. Ooh, ooh, look at that corner. That is a bad corner. This card was, if you actually, actually I should have taken it out, but this card was actually slightly higher than all the other cards, and this corner got dinged. But Jack Johnson, there you go. We've got All Star, Roman Yossi. Curtis McElhaney, TJ Oshie, ooh, and young gun of Logan Stanley. All right, some Winnipeg Jets fans would love Logan Stanley, the man who beat Carey Price. Good player there. Connor Timmins, Nick Cousins, and Colton Sevier. So, yes, yeah, so far, best young gun I pulled is Logan Stanley. Let's see what else we've got here. There's more goals than uh, Mitch Marner. In the playoffs last year, or I guess it was just last summer here. Uh, this this one's hard to rip now. What the heck's going on? The last one ripped so easily. This one, this one has like double the ceiling power. And look, every single card in the back is dinged up. Like uh, you can't really tell, but that edge is really banged up. Anyway, David Pasternak, Luke Kunin, Stefan Nozin, Seth Jones, ooh, and a retro. Alex Ovechkin. 
I think I got Brooks 77's box here. It's all like uh, Washington Capitals inserts here. Tristan Jerry, Jesse Pugliarvi, and Casey Zizekas. Brooks 77, Mr. Chad Brooks, when you start collecting physical cards, let me know. I'll hang on to some of these uh, Washington Canadians. Oh, Washington Canadians. <sighs> Washington Capitals cards. I started thinking Washington Nationals, which were Montreal Expos, and I got all confused. I don't know why baseball's on brain. And look, this one just ripped like that. Like, some of them rip really easily, and some of them are, like, covered with glue or something. Oh, actually, you can tell right here. The seal wasn't really even sealed. It's only on the, the lip there. See the color difference in the camera? But anyway, quality control with an upper deck. Both do not exist. So there you go. TJ Brody, Tyson Berry, Tobias Reeder, Eric Gustafson, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Daniel Sprong, Eric Stahl, and Trevor Lewis. Interesting. Is this a French variant again? No. What the hell? Is it like a short print of some sort? How do I tell if it's a short print? Anybody know? Like, does it say? Did I get a base pack? What the hell, upper deck? Like, does it say it's a short print somewhere? How do I know what I just got? Because I feel like I just got ripped off, guys. I got, like, they're just base numbers here. Not even an all-star card. Okay, I'm gonna put this stack to the side. I, I think that's super lame upper deck. That sucks. That really sucks. Imagine buying a hobby box. Who would be so stupid to buy a hobby box of this stuff? And then just to get a retail box or a retail pack of nothing but base cards. It's so stupid. All right, here we go. Adam Lowry, Nathan McKinnon, Matthew Joseph, and ooh, look at that shiny little bad boy. That is a Elia Sorokin holographics. This is how they spell graphics, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I just broke that card. Anyway, here we go. GRFX graphics. Uh, Jankowski, Duclair. Nicholas Roy and Mark Giordano. I'm sorry, Sorokin. You deserved a better fate than that. But, God, what is with that pack there? And this one ripped super easily, too. And you can tell they barely sealed the top. So, did somebody go through these packs, took out the cards, and then sealed them back up already? That's weird. Donato, Hirose, Wayne Simmons, Comtois, Jake Bischoff, Young Guns. I don't know who that is. Somebody tell me. Craig Smith, Matthew Benning, and Josh Brown. Actually, hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight cards. I'm very confused. Is, like, the Pierre Luc Dubois, is that the uh, short print? Is it sprung? Like, if this was in order, it's either the Gustafson or the Dubois, because it's the cards in the middle. But, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Alright, next stack. Moving along. I'm not over it, by the way, guys. I'm still not over it. I think this is stupid that you pay so much for a hobby box and you get skunked because they decide not to put an insert in there. That's super lame upper deck. Michael Raffle, Alex Petrangelo. And I spoiled it already because these cards are all stuck together. Georgiev, Mike Hoffman, and here you go. Ryan O'Reilly, Pros and Prospects. That's number 927 out of 1,000. I'm not a Blues fan, so it doesn't really mean much to me. Here you go. They're all stuck together. Jesper Fast, Max Pacioretty, and Taylor Hall. See, again, this one doesn't even have any glue on it, so. But yeah, if anybody knows if I pulled a short print there, let me know. I'm very curious, and what? That was really weird. The cards weren't even stacked properly. Ugh. 
Huberdo, Cody CC, Valimaki, Matt Murray, Connor Hellebuck, Shattenkirk, Dobson, and Sutter. What the hell? Another base? Like, is one of these a short print? Is it Matt Murray? Is that the short print? Or is it Connor Hellebuck's All Star Game shirt? Or Jonathan Huberdo? What is this? This is BS as far as I can tell right now, guys. So there's two packs so far that I pulled with no inserts in them. Whoever, whoever was telling me that I'm gonna have good luck in the second half break, it's all on you guys. It's all on you guys. I got base packs, that's what I've got. I've got nothing but base packs, stupid upper deck. Uh, I'm definitely going to be sending an angry note to quality control at Upper Deck or customer service or whatever it is because that is ridiculous here. There you go. Johan Larson, Michael Raffle, Alex Petrangelo, and whoa, look at this. Holographics, Kale McCarr. That's a shiny little card there. That's pretty sweet. It's not numbered. But that is a really cool card, really shiny. If you like holographic and uh, refractor, <coughs> excuse me. If you like holographic, refractor, and you know foily foil cards, you're gonna like extended series. Rosslevic, Markstrom, Jesper Fast, and Max Pacioretty again. Is it the same Max Pacioretty? It is the same Max Pacioretty. Thanks, Upper Deck. If you want a lot of base cards and potentially get some base packs in your hobby box, then you're gonna love, you're gonna absolutely love the extended series. I can tell you that because this is what it's all about, finding base cards. Georgiev, oh, I got a young gun here. Georgiev, again, they're so sticky. Georgiev, Hoffman, Yossi, McElhaney again. Frederick Handmark, don't know anything about him. Taylor Hall, Connor Timmons again, Nick Cousins. So we're getting a lot of dupe base cards already, which is always an encouraging sign. I've got three packs left to go with uh, two stupid base packs that I got. I don't know. I don't know if Upper Deck will do anything about it, but here you go. Wenberg, Stahl. I call. Oh, I got something I like here. I, I see something I like, but freaking hell. Ben Hutton, and there you go. My boy, Quinn Hughes, rookie reflections. This one's definitely going to the PC. Look at that shine on this one. Rookie reflections of Quinn Hughes, and it's card number 43, I think. Or is it they just put his number in the corner? But that's pretty cool. Not as bad anymore. Jay Beagle, Cedric Paquette, and Matt Nieto. Two more packs to go, guys. I don't even think I got six young guns unless there's a young gun in this box. Because I think I got two in the first half. And uh, so far, three in this one. Yeah, three in this one. So unless there's a young gun in the next two, I didn't get much here. So you got Brassard, VC, here you go. Glenn Godin. Woohoo, I don't know who you are. Billy Huso, Thomas Grice, Joe Thornton, and Frederick Anderson. All right, guys, last pack of this lackluster product known as the Extended Series. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to get another box. We'll see what Upper Deck does about those base packs. Um, I don't know, Canadian Card Breakers, did, do you have an update? Did they do anything for you when you got the base packs? Did they send you anything or did they tell you tough luck? I have a feeling they're going to tell me tough luck. Here you go. Elias Pedersen, Slater Kokok, Ryan Strom. Good thing is I do this on video so you can see. Tyler Bertuzzi. Oh, my favorite, Brad Marchand, yay. Brad Marchand Retro, somebody will probably like that one. Zdino Chara, Quinn Hughes All-Star, and Zach Bogosian. So there you go. No Retro Young Guns in my box. 
not a single retro young gun so that's disappointing to see uh, upper deck seriously if you ever do watch this and if you want to see video evidence of how badly your cards are packed i'm not afraid to tell you this but this is absolutely disappointing for somebody who has to spend over a hundred dollars for a box you don't get anything listed on the box itself and uh, you wind up with two base packs unless you can tell me which one of those cards were a insert or a short print this is absolutely disappointing and guys i don't know i really hope they don't make another extended series because this is a stupid set if you like foily stuff yeah go ahead but honestly look at the young gun names that they threw in here and uh yeah i mean they're basically milking last year's rookies like look at this you get yourself a quinn hughes which is last year's rookie and then you got yourself a kale mccarr which is last year's rookie so there you have it guys all right guys as always with the card guys i'm going to sign off but before i do stay safe stay healthy make sure you reach out to your friends and your family and let them know how you're doing ask them how they're doing and of course uh when you can you know celebrate a little celebrate a little celebrate all the little things in life that make you happy whether it's not winning a giveaway because you lost out to me <laughs> just kidding guys or uh, whether it's you guys are just enjoying life because it's the summer and the weather is nice and uh, you're finally able to go out and just do what you always wanted to do anyways guys take care and we'll see you guys at the next video and oh and upper deck if you do watch this and you wanted your video evidence there you go i got two base packs unless you can prove otherwise cheers guys Thank you.